and welcome back. You can Uber's pet nutrition advisor, Peter Schiesel. It is nice to have you back, Peter. And we're talking about the nutritional needs of active dogs this morning. We are. Thanks for having me back. So firstly, what do you mean when you say active dog? Well, this is no more obvious than here in New Zealand, where we have our indoor modern pets living the urban lifestyle through to our 300,000 working farm dogs who are putting in hard hours every day. Yeah, 300,000. That is an awful lot of dogs. Like the it urban is. lifestyle dogs would be my little pooch who does like, like a loop around the block maybe once or twice a day. Yeah. So what does an active dog need in their diet? So the higher the level of the activity, the higher the energy requirements of that dog. A highly active dog will have different feeding guidelines to a dog that's wandering around the block twice a day. <laughs> but let's be very clear here, particularly in a world where we have many podgy pooches among us, I'm talking about uh, high activity levels. So just because you have a working dog breed such as a Huntaway or a Border Collie, that doesn't automatically mean that they need a high energy diet. This is for dogs who are getting out and about, are in work or training or competitions. They need a high protein levels of muscle development, maintenance and repair. Yeah, so it's like it's like the Olympic athletes compared to me at the gym. That's Absolutely. the sort of thing, isn't it? You wouldn't be I wouldn't be eating their diet. It just wouldn't work for me. So what happens if a dog isn't provided with the right nutrition for their activity level? Well a dog who's only doing moderate activity, if they're fed a high energy diet that's also high in fat and protein and they're not burning it off, they can become overweight, which leads to all those other issues like joint problems or strain on their bodies. But then at the other end of the spectrum, a dog who's highly active and isn't getting enough of these things can become underweight. And this usually shows in their fur first, it will become really dull, but also they don't recover from activity quite as quickly as they should. It's not just about the food that they're eating though, it's the amount that they're getting. Okay, so you have an event coming up at the end of the month too, don't you? We do, it's very exciting. It's our You Can Uber Tales and Trails event out at Riverhead Forest in Northwest Auckland, and that's on October 27th. So what's, the, what's this event for? Uh, we're holding this to encourage and celebrate healthy activity between dogs and their owners. So it's a chance to get out and have a good time with like-minded people in their pooches. That sounds really good. So what does it involve? It's going to be a fun morning out with the dogs. Uh, we've got three different event options for dogs and their owners. We've got the 2.5 kilometre scamper. This is the perfect option for those that want to dip a claw in, but not the whole paw. Uh, the five kilometre frolic course. This is challenging yet achievable, um, and it gives you a taste of everything, including getting your mud on your paws a little bit. Uh, the 10 kilometre romp course. This is for the most adventurous of hounds, and this goes deep into Riverhead Forest. Um, participants can run or walk, but all dogs must be on a lead. Mm -hmm. um, there are also spot prizes throughout the day. You just need to go to the website, talesandtrails.co.nz, and, and uh, sign up there. So this awesome activity um, sort of reminds us why we have dogs in the first place, whether it be for our own personal health and well-being, companionship, or a more functional reason, they are all equally important. Um, there's no denying life is better with a dog in it. So having a healthy, active dog also leads to a healthy, active human. That's fabulous. I love that. I think I could probably do the 5K, but there's no way my dog would do that. She, <laughs> you, she, when you're running, you have to do that sort of like pulling you along. It's not so good. Hey, thank yeah. you so much for joining us today. It's been great. Thanks and as Peter said, if you would like to find out more about the You Can Uber Tales and Trails event, you can check out the website. And You Can Uber are giving away to our cafe viewers a $20 voucher off your next purchase of You Can Uber Dry Food. To download the voucher, you can go to youcanuber.co.nz forward slash the cafe.